Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the pricing of Disney Cruise. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Angie. I make a video about motherhood, tips and hacks, and also travel vlogs. And recently I make video about Disney Cruise stories. So I posted about more than 20 videos already about tips and hacks of Disney Cruise. So make sure you check them all before your Disney Cruise because uh, it's going to be really useful. And without further ado, let's begin. So for Disney Cruise, the price is just keep going up and up in compared to other cruise lines. With other cruise lines, sometimes the price gonna go down. But the best price for Disney Cruise is actually when they first release the itinerary. And most of the time, they release the new itinerary is during uh, beginning of October. If you're like platinum member. And if you cruise with Disney Cruise a lot, it will be released at the end of September. So right now it's October 2019 and they already released the itineraries for 2021. So what I suggest is to follow a lot of like blogs so you know the itineraries and then join a lot of Facebook groups for Disney Cruise Line. I will post the Facebook group to join below and also gonna put the link for the blogs and also you can join the mailing list you can call the guest service that you want to receive the mail uh, the mail about the new itineraries for Disney Cruise I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Disney Cruise going to Hawaii the last Disney Cruise going to Hawaii is in 2015 when they released the Disney Cruise going to Hawaii in 2020 it was sold out when they first the first week they released the itineraries going to Hawaii. I think a lot of people just book it first because uh, you can always cancel it. Like the deposit is refundable. So it was sold out during the first week of October 2018. And now a lot of people just keep dropping it. And so, so many people will grab them. Like whether they drop the balcony or concierge or the ocean view or the inside room and it's really 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 expensive because it's 10 nights and 9 nights it really depends on which one you choose and compared to Alaska cruise it is even more expensive I think Alaska cruise is already so expensive but the Hawaii cruise is much more expensive so how much more expensive Disney cruise is with other uh, cruise line so I would say Disney cruise price is about twice or three times more, ex more expensive than other cruise line. Depends on which cruise line, depends on the season, depends on the destinations. But roughly it's about uh, double or triple compared to other cruise line. So I've checked if you go with Disney Cruise, if you stay inside, it will be 6,000 something US dollar. With Royal Caribbean, it will be about $2,000 if you stay inside. And it will be 3,000 US dollar if you stay uh, in the balcony and it's for two adults and one kid three-year-old kid so that's the rough comparison so let's say if you cruise with other cruise line half of the price you can stay at the balcony but for Disney cruise even though you stay inside you will pay about double or something three per compared to others cruise line so that's the rough idea Also, does the kid pay for the cruise? Yes, they do pay for the cruise. If it is below three years old, they will pay 50% of the kid's price. And if your child is three to 12, they will pay the full price of the kid's price. And if your kids is about 13 and above, they will pay adult price. So my son was two and a half. Uh, I was pretty sad he, he couldn't use the kids club. But actually this kids club is not free if you think about it. Because three years old kid pay more than two and a half year old kid or two years old kid. So yeah, actually it's not free. Basically it's extra charge and it's included on your cruise price. also how to book like Disney Cruise. First you can book it through the Disney Cruise Line uh, website uh, which what I did before. Number two is you can also use travel agents. Uh, usually they will offer the same price as the Disney Cruise Line website but they will give you like some onboard credit about 200 or 
handle it more or less but at the time I called about five travel agents before I booked this one and the price is a little bit more expensive somehow so at the end I just book it through the Disney Cruise Line website and another tip is to use the incognito page or private page if you use your iPhone and incognito tab if you use your laptop or macbook because the price is just keep going up if you keep checking it so when i keep checking for the disney cruise it's about 1000 or 2000 us dollar difference so it's a pretty huge gap so just keep using uh the private page or incognito page so they will not recognize your computer IP or something so it just it works like a speedy I think and you can also call Disney Cruise Line line to book and they will also hold it for you for three days you can always change your mind if you don't call back to pay the deposit they will release it in three days so you can always grab it first and if you change your mind you can always drop it without paying any penalty or deposit and most of the time like during the deposit deadline and during the full payment deadline a lot of people drop their uh, cruise so you can check them out as well to get a spot so uh, I don't think the price would be less but at uh, because Disney Cruise Hawaii is like sold out now so you can always wait until next year and then wait for it until people cancel so it's about 75 days to 121 days before the cruise and also the next question is whether to get Disney vacation plan or not I was asking the Disney Cruise Line representative and she explained it to me so I thought I would explain it to you because I bet a lot of people doesn't know this so it costs about 8% from the Disney Cruise Line price so the Hawaii Cruise will be in April 2020 so before December 31st to th this year December 2019 you can always get 100% refund if you cancel after December 31st it will be refundable as long as you have vacation plan but vacation plan is only cover like injury sickness and stuff like that if and you need a doctor's note and proof for it if it's like something about work or something about uh, family emergency that you need to cancel your trip uh, the vacation plan will not cover it uh, but if you cancel it they will like uh, give it back to you about 75% credit for your next cruise so it's, uh, the form will be not cash the form will be credit for your next cruise and it's only 75% but if you have the vacation protection plan for us we didn't buy the vacation protection plan because if you use this travel uh, credit card that we have if we have sickness one of us uh, the main family member is sick and as long as we have the doctor so it will be all covered by the credit card company or by the bank so always check with your credit card company first whether they will cover like the travel uh, emergency something like that so if they do you don't need to buy extra insurance thanks for watching guys bye make sure you like and subscribe what are you saying Time and the place, baby, it's not right It's not right, no Going insane